So let me show you how to find the search term report and how to use that data uh, to help with your campaigns. So to get to the report, you'd go to the keywords tab. Um, you can either go there from this screen where you see all your campaigns, and that'll show you the search terms for all your campaigns across the account. Or you can go to a specific campaign or even a specific ad group and get to the report from there the same way. You're always going to click on the keywords tab. And then you click on this search terms button. So what this is going to show is all of the things people actually typed into Google that caused them to click on our ad. Okay. Um, one column you'll probably want to add to this report is the keyword column here. So now you can see this column I just added is the keyword column. So for here's how you can kind of look at this and how it works. So in the campaign we have this keyword, party rentals. If someone types party rentals, because we had the keyword party rentals, our ads were shown. And then this is the data from this specific search term, party rentals. Okay, 37 impressions, two clicks, yada, yada. <clears throat> now here's another search term. So this is what people were actually typing into Google, Shakori Hills. This is the keyword that was actually in the campaign, festivals. Now you can see that um, this is a pretty big stretch, right? F to go from the keyword that was added, um, festivals, to have someone type in Shikori Hills. But that's what happened. The ad in this campaign was triggered when someone typed Shikori Hills. And it was triggered because of this keyword festivals. Um, if you haven't already, there's an earlier video in this course talking about keywords that are too broad and loosely related. Um, festivals is one of the keywords I talked about in that video. And this is why that's a problem because you get key, you get search terms like this um, that don't have anything to do with festivals, much less anything to do with the key, the search terms we're trying to to reach, which are people looking to rent equipment and supplies for for parties, festivals, and events. Okay, but this is what you find when you look at the search term report. So even if your campaign was set up poorly, you can go to the search term report, and you can see that your ads are getting shown to people that type in Shikori Hills. So if we want to prevent that, we can select that and add it as a negative keyword. Okay, you can add it to the ad group it was in, you can add it to the whole campaign, or you can add it to a negative keyword list. Okay, when you add the negative keyword, it's going to default to an exact match keyword, um, but you usually wanna change that to a broad. So in this case, if I were to leave it like this, the only searches this would block would be Shikori Hills, that exact phrase. If I change it, if I remove those brackets and I add it like this, well now it's going to block any search that includes Shikori Hills. So if someone's, I don't know what Shikori Hills is, I'm assuming it's some kind of a uh, festival grounds or something. So if someone's searching Shikori Hills directions or Shikori Hills location, now that I've added this as a broad negative keyword, it's going to block those searches. Okay, um, so the most important thing you're gonna use the search term report is finding negative keywords. Okay, here's another search term that we don't want to be paying for traffic for. So we'd want to add a company Inc. as a negative keyword. 
a Chinese Lantern Festival, Bonnaroo. We'd want to add these all as negative keywords. Okay, the other thing you'd want to look for in the search term report are positive keywords, keywords that you might want to add to your campaign. So if, we've, if we see a term like this, a party rentals, Raleigh and C, this is getting matched right now to the keyword rent wedding tent. Okay, but it looks like this is a keyword that gets a good amount of traffic. There have been at least 13 impressions for it. So this would be a keyword that would be worth bidding on by itself. So if it's not already in the campaign, we can add that as a keyword. Now in this case, it's going to default to adding a broad keyword. We want to change that to an exact keyword. Okay, and then if we save that, it'll add it to the ad group that it was originally, that it originally came from. Okay, so it came from this general tent rentals ad group. That's where it's going to be added. So that's how you use the search term report. It's good to check this as often as possible, especially to look for negative keywords and start to eliminate and exclude search terms that you don't want to pay for. Okay, you can see that even though our ad, which is about event rentals, okay, our ad had nothing to do with Shikori Hills, but people are still clicking on it and uh, in this campaign, the, the client was getting charged for those clicks. Okay, you can't go to Google and tell them that you want a refund for these clicks. They're not going to give it to you. It's up to you to set up your campaign properly and exclude searches as you see them so you don't get charged for irrelevant clicks.